All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer this website from one hosting account to another hosting account on the same hosting service provider. For example, if you just take a look at this hosting account, you can see this account is or this hosting package is going to be expired in 18 days from today. So now I've got another hosting package purchased on the same hosting provider. And now I'm about to transfer this block site from this hosting account to the other hosting account. And I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process in this video. So without further ado, let me take you to websites from here. And after that, we're gonna follow a few steps to successfully transfer the website. So let's find the website that we're gonna transfer, which is learners.world. And here you go, this is the website or the blog. And after that, I'm gonna take you to dashboard. So in the first step, we need to download the website backups, the files and the databases. So to start the process, I'm going to click here on file manager for this exact website. So I'm gonna click on file manager. In the new tab, it is going to open up the backend of this um, website and after that we're going to get in to the public html folder so i'm going to click after that we need this folder specifically so wp hyphen content so i'm going to select and then right click and then click on download and we need this folder downloaded in zip folder so or zip file so i'm going to click on zip and after that i'm going to create a new folder here let's say learners.world and let's click on create so you can put whatever name you want so basically i've chose learners world so that it would be easier for me to remember later on so now i'm going to click on save so if you just take a look the files are being downloaded on my computer now we need to download the database as well so while the files are being downloaded let's go back to the dashboard of our website and after that, we can go to the databases from here. But the problem is we are gonna see many databases here and we have to find the database for this specific website, which is gonna take us some time. So the easy process is to go to WordPress from the left-hand side and then go to overview. And after that, you are gonna find the database ID right here, right? So now if I click here on this database ID, it is going to take us to the database here you go php my admin page for this exact website which we are about to download so it's easier isn't it so now if i scroll through you're gonna find that you have got 67 tables on this database now we have to select them all by clicking here on this icon check all and now all of these database tables has been selected it's time to click on export so I'm gonna click on export. And after that, I'm gonna select quick, display only the minimal options, that's fine. And the format is going to be SQL. Let's click on export. After that, I'm gonna click on save. And if I just want to show you the files that we have got, if I take you inside learners world folder, here you go, the WordPress files, WordPress backup files, and then the database files here, right? So now we are done with downloading the backups it's time to go back to our um, old hosting package. And we're gonna click on the, let's say main menu, websites. And we're going to delete the website from here. Otherwise it won't work while we'll try to add this website to a new hosting account. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply go back here. And again, I'm gonna type out learners.world. This is in like, a really important uh, situation or process. And please make sure you have downloaded your website backup before you do this process or do this step. Otherwise you will lose everything of your website. Okay, so as I have downloaded my backup for the database, also for the HG, uh, website files, now I'm all fine to delete this website from here. So I'm gonna click on delete. And let's click on, I understand, delete. And all the files and everything about this website has gone. If I try to visit learners.world here, 
it should show us this page now instead of this website right so now it's time to go back to our new hosting account which is here i have got cloud professional hosting account and now i'm going to click on websites basically so that i'm under this new account so i'm going to click on websites after that i'm going to click on add website and then i'm going to create a wordpress website so i'm going to click on wordpress after that we are going to provide the admin uh, credential details so i'm going to give my credentials here after that the administrative password and then i'm going to click on next i'm going to click on update password okay and after that i am going to click on create blank site so it will be faster now we're going to select the domain name so let's click on learners or let's type out learners dot world and it should say do you own this domain use it so basically this is the domain that i own on namecheap and since it was connected with another hosting account on hostinger itself so i don't have to point the dns records for this domain anymore so i'm going to click here and after that i'm going to click on next and now automatically it's going to start installing wordpress to the new or under the domain name so let's give it a few seconds it should be less than a minute and we're gonna see how it went or goes here we go it just took us to the wordpress backend you can see automatically so if i take you to the dashboard and if i try to visit the website we are under a preview domain here but you can see that we have got the blog installed or wordpress installed and the domain is not yet properly propagated as of now but it's going to be connected soon so what i'm going to do i'm going to take you again to this hostinger account let me sign in again and after that we are going to the websites and then I'm going to take you to the dashboard of this website. And then we are going to, or first of all, let's change the database. Yep. So I'm going to take you to WordPress and then overview. And after that, I'm going to go to this database. After that, we are going to select all of them. These 14 tables for the new website and simply i'm going to drop them so i'm going to select from here let's click on drop and let's click on yes these are going to be dropped and after that what we need to do we need to click on import and then we're going to select the file that we have just downloaded from the previous website or the previous uh, backup so we have got this database file let's click on open and then we are going to click on import now the database should be imported within a few minutes and while it is working here what i'm going to do i'm going to take you back to our hostinger account let's go to the overview page let's go to the file manager And then we're going to go inside the public HTML. We're going to re remove this WP content folder. We're going to delete it, delete forever. And now we're going to upload the folder that we had earlier. So I'm going to click on folder and then let's select this one. Oh, okay, so it's still working. That's why. So let's see folder. Nope, it's a file. So let's select file and then let's select wp content then click on open the files are going to be uploaded here and let's go back here we can see the input has been successfully finished and now we should have all the tables here right so if i take you back here 
we should be able to see all the tables like 67 tables from the previous um let's say backup right so now just for the confirmation i'm going to take you to wp options from the left hand side and then i'm going to see the urls here Let's just take a take a look it's http so i'm going to click on edit for the http the site url and i'm going to add s after https and let's click on save or the go button right here and let's do this thing for the home page as well so i'm going to click on edit we're going to go back here click on s click on go and we are done with the php my admin page so i'm going to cross this out and i can see that the files are still being uh, uploaded so let's just wait while it is being uploaded it's going to take around four minutes for uh, around five minutes it's showing here so let's just wait for this time period okay so we are almost there and here you go we have got the zip file uploaded here so now what you have to do we have to unzip this or extract this so i'm going to select this one and click on the right button of my mouse and then i'm going to click on extract and i have to give a name so wp is going to be content it should be matching with the actual name or the real name that we had earlier so wp content is the name and then we are going to click here on extract so here you go the wp content has been added now if if i check this folder we can see all the files inside this file so it looks good so i'm going to take you back to public html and then we're going to remove this one or delete this zip file so i'm going to click on delete and delete that's it now if i visit learners.world let's see sorry not here let's see what it shows learners.world hit enter okay so it has got the website that i have got from the installation but within few minutes the real website should be propagated and we should be able to access the website which should look like exactly like this right and we should be able to read the files and folders as well so for example as you can see here it's already propagated that's why we are being able to access these links under this domain name but it might gonna take some time to get available everywhere so we'll see the updated version within few minutes so this is the process how you can transfer a website from one hosting account to another hosting account for the same hosting company so i believe you have found this video helpful if you have got any question or if you have faced any issues throughout the process please do let me know in the comment i'd be more than um pleasure to help you out with any concerns thank you so much have a good day bye bye